This is calculator question 38 from the May 2019 international exam. We're given a paragraph and a table of distances where the distances are measurements on a map in inches and we have the map scale that three quarters of an inch is 50 miles. And the question is, how long will it take to drive at 60 miles per hour on a drive that is two and one quarter inches on the map? So I need to convert from inches on the map to miles. So 2.25 inches. I can set this up as a proportion or just multiply by 50 miles, which equals 50 miles over land equals 0.75 inches. On the map, the inches cancel. So I know I've wrote this proportion correctly because my units I wanted to get rid of have canceled. And I have 2.25 times 50 over 0.75 is 150 miles. So the question is, how many minutes to drive 150 miles at 60 miles per hour? I'm going to erase this. I have 150 miles divided by x hours. And this is miles per hour, so that should be equal to 60 miles per hour. And the units are good, so I can ignore those. So 150 over x equals 60. If I multiply both sides by x, x over x is 1. And that gives me 150 equals 60x divided by 60. And I get x equals 150 over 60, which is 2.5. Hours. But I want minutes. And I'm running out of board space, so I'll erase that again. And 2.5 hours to convert hours to minutes. 60 minutes equals one hour. And the hours will cancel. We know that 60 minutes equals one hour. And I put 60 over one hour because that is one. And then the hours cancel, which leaves me with 60 times 2.5 in minutes is 150 minutes. And the question was, how long in minutes? The answer would be 150. There is a shortcut here that is typically not available on these questions. Since 60 miles per hour is 60 miles per 60 minutes, that's one mile per minute. As soon as I found that it was 150 miles, I could have answered 150 minutes. I just prefer not to do that since there's an instructional purpose here also. And we want to be able to solve this even at different speeds. Remember, speed in miles per hour is distance over time. And if you have two of those three numbers, you can solve for the third one. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.